Alright guys, we're back to introduction with JavaScript on our second part here, Choose Your Own Adventure. So, um, check if the user is ready to play using the confirm command. Make sure that the user is ready to play. For example, I would use a sentence, I'm ready to play. Add whatever phrase you would like to confirm. Confirm. Are you ready to play? Question mark. Semicolon. Let's see if that works. And we're going to hit OK. Cool. So they are indeed ready to play. Understand the existing code. Declare a variable called age. So age is equal to the prompt of what's Age question mark. And then we're gonna say if age if age is less than thirteen, we're gonna console dot log we're gonna print out. Play at your own risk. Semicolon. Else, else good luck. Have fun. All right. So it's gonna ask us, "Are you ready to play?" Okay. What's your age? Oh, here we forgot the end on console, but uh, all in all, good luck and have fun. There we go. So, printing the introduction using console.log. Remember, the introduction is a string, make sure keep it between quotes. Are we supposed to print it at the beginning or the end? Alright, we'll just do it at the end. And we'll say um, story equals that. And then we'll do console.log story. And that should work just fine. Are you ready to play? Okay. I have 27. Okay. And then here it prints out our story. Update your existing code. Print out. Suddenly Beaversoft says, Who wants to race me? And then de declare variables. So we'll, call it, we'll just call this story2 is equal to. Take out one of those, and then we'll say console.log story2. Then we'll say uh, declare variable user answer. We'll set it equal to make it equal to a prompt. All right, so I uh, have a little brain fart here, and I forgot. Let's see here, console.log. Is it a semicolon we're missing? 
Oh. There we are. We forgot the prompt here. We're doing it backwards. And then we'll do console.lumon story two. That might work. Let's see here. Prompt equals. So this needs to be user answer. And we need to fix this. And I believe now we're doing what we needed to be doing. So yes, I'm 27. Who wants to answer me? I do. Okay, so we messed up. It's actually two different uh, sentences here. My mistake. So this is actually story two again. And then this is prompt. Details, man, they'll get you every time. All right. I do not want to erase Justin Bieber. All right. Use an if-else statement to write out the last part of the game. Make sure the to check the console for error messages and suggestions on how to fix the game. So want if. Okay. If. All right. So we basically need three things here. Um, if, yes, I'll write it out, I'll write out all of them, if, oops, if user answer equals yes, and I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, if I had to guess it probably is, user answer. And it's three equals, if I remember correctly. And then we'll just do else. And then we have our else statement for everything. Else. It's about log. Users answer is neither yes or no error. And then we'll console.log. We would have chosen not to race. And then console.log. For some Known reason you are racing the beaver. All right. So that should work. Are you ready to play us? I'm 27. Do you want to race us? All right. Let's find out if it's case sensitive. We're gonna say no. Okay. Uh, so it is case sensitive. Um, so we're going to do lowercase here. Um, at least in the, the running environment here it is anyhow. Do we need to test yes? Is that what's going on?
this one is three uh, double equals, but let's try this one more time. Yeah, so that wasn't it. Um, user answer, if user answer is equal. Alright, so we're at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I am, so we're right there. Uh, oh. They actually gave us in the prompt something they wanted us to write, so we will rewrite that. That might be our error. This is I know. Save and submit. Let's see if that fixes it. 27. We'll say yes. Alright, so that was our, our, our actual code was fine. We just needed the correct printout statements. So now we want to create a variable called feedback. Um, this could actually be a cool way of writing like an old school RPG, where just images come up and text comes up. Think of like the old, like almost DOS type of uh, Dungeons and Dragons game. So we're going to say uh, feedback equals prompt, and we're going to ask it for uh, the feedback. So enter a rating between 1, one and 10. Please. It doesn't seem to be too uh, key on the semicolons. Uh, dropping off. A lot of languages I've been using lately don't include this, and so it's kind of a, uh, I won't say it's a bad habit now of mine, but uh, it's just a uh, something that I've been doing without thinking about it. Um, but you should always follow the convention, even if sometimes it allows you not to. Alright, so now we're going to do another thing here. So if feedback is greater than 8, Going to console.log, we're gonna print out. We're gonna have to lose one of the uh, brackets here. No more copies. Thank you, we should race at our next concert. Else, we are going to print out. Log. I'll keep practicing coding and racing. So let's go ahead and submit this. Are you ready to play with your age? 27. You want to race your survivor? Yes. Enter a rating between 1 and 10, and we'll say 9. Thank you. We should race at the next concert. Cool. So uh, congratulations, you've just programmed your first game, this is incredibly impressive, it says, our whole 42 lines of code, um, pretty good though. So we're going to run through it one last time, what's your age, 27, do you want to race just Bieber? No. 1 in 10, we'll go 1, I'll keep practicing coding and racing. So that was our second Choose Your Adventure there of JavaScript. And let's see, next time we're going to be introduction to functions in JavaScript. Um, so, get, get ready for that. Uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit more of the same, but uh, I'm sure the pace will pick up pretty quick. Alright, see you guys next week.